Okay, so before we will start our low poly mesh, we have to talk about baking the map because this topic is related to our low poly geometry. So I will show you and explain few things. You can see that I have here my low poly mesh and my high poly mesh with this round edges. So there are different schools uh, how to create your low poly mesh. You can see that my low poly mesh is completely around the high poly, so it's on the outside and the high poly is mainly inside of the low poly. Uh, people are doing this different differently. Sometimes they tend to put your low poly a little bit into high poly or, or just completely inside the high poly mesh. Sometimes it depends really on the geometry because baking might be a little bit easier when you uh, push your low poly geometry a little bit inside. For me, for most scenarios, I keep my low poly mesh uh, outside the, the high poly. You know, not that kind of far, but uh, just close enough because I want to really keep my size of my low poly mesh exactly the same as the high poly. So when you push it a little bit inside, at the end you probably will have to adjust the size to the to the normal uh, size of the high poly. So it's really too much work and it, it's not comfortable for me. It's better to create just exactly the same size uh, as the high poly. So I will show you right now a few different methods how to bake your normal map. And one of these methods is baking normal maps using Maya. And I do it very often because for me it's fast method. Of course at the beginning we have to check our UVs for this object, for this low poly object. So let's check it. Let's maybe delete this, all the UVs, and let's make some kind of automatic mapping. I think it will be good enough for this example. So let's open our transfer map. You can find transfer map here in transfer map here. So we put our target mesh. It's our low poly, close mesh, our high poly. Let's see our options and let's set some kind of name. Normal one for example. And these options you can see are pretty def default. So I'm not changing anything except this. Map shielding, let's start with geometry normal. You will see our results with geometry normal. And let's reset this to zero. Let's bake it. Okay, so our normal map is baked. Let's hide our high poly mesh. Let's switch to viewport 2.0 to see our baked normal map. And you can see everything works fine. Maybe this area is a little bit deformed, but it, it was difficult for the render. Anyway, it looks very good in my opinion, so everything, everything works fine. 
and let's check right now the second option and the second option is match using surface normal you will see the result uh, what you will get using surface normal let's copy this one and put it here and this one is for target mesh let's apply just some standard numbers and let's change the name of course second normal to and let's bake it again using of course surface normal you will see a result okay so you, you can see our result and the, the result is very different we've got this ugly edges around the object and this is not what we want mainly so let's duplicate it and put it here and let's apply for this one a Lambert so for this tutorial for this weapon I will be using X normal for baking our normal map and our ambient occlusion map and maybe some others too uh, but let's start this X normal so we've got to export our low poly of course let's save it on the desk and of course our iframe without any special options just obj file and we should check smooth 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 group normal and this kind of stuff this group point group materials you can oh so high poly for high poly and let's switch to X normal. So low poly mesh, low definition mesh. We choose LK for low poly, LP, all same, and high poly, all same, high poly. Okay, let's talk about the options here. I keep this turn on always size it's okay edge padding i keep also always anti-aliasing times two and let's put some kind of name one for example and let's try to bake it okay so what this error is saying that we just cannot import into X normal geometry uh, with some end gongs and sided faces so we have to triangulate for example our high poly mesh and low poly mesh before importing into X normal so let's check our models and that's probably because of this high poly mesh have some end gongs here so let's do a quick cleanup uh, that's just more than four sides let's do this cleanup and let's export it once again let's switch to X normal and let's check if it will work yes and it works our normal map was baked and let's apply it actually to our low poly so let's maybe duplicate it again for x normal sorry for not showing you just uh, assigning materials let's choose lambert 
looks like this. We want to apply it to bump map slab and then we type normal and let's pick our normal map screenshot. So you can see we've got the same bad result as using the transfer map, a Maya transfer map with the surface normals option. And that's because X normal as default is using this this option actually the surface normal so in order to make a really clean and nice bake like this one from maya we have to use something like cage in x normal if you are using for example 3ds max you are probably familiar with this uh, the cage is also called envelope of course it's in maya 2 I will show you this when you open transfer map you have here options for example let's put 10% uh, search envelope and when we display both we can see this red box and this red box is actually our envelope so you can see it's a little bit deformed and it deforms while we are increasing percentage. So in, in some cases you can export this to X normal and use it, but mostly it's not that simple because if you want to use cage in X normal, the cage have to be exactly the same number of triangles, polygons and vertices uh, as your low poly mesh so mainly the cage is just copy of your uh, existing low poly geometry but of course it, it have to be modified a little bit and i'm going to show you how to create this cage so we want to duplicate our low poly mesh, control D on your keyboard and m let's move it a little bit here. Uh, and let's move this actually because I want to make this unselectable. So what we have to do, we have to just push the vertices a little bit outside and this will be our cage this kind of cage we want to export of course and let's switch to x normal Let's put a different name, X2 for example, and we are switching to low definition mesh and here we have to browse external cage file. And we are choosing our cage. Okay, so what this warning is saying that of course your cage topology have to be exactly the same as your low poly mesh so it should work right now let's generate our maps so you can see that it already looks different than this first one that we've baked and let's apply it to our mesh so let's make this create for this cage a different layer and let's put it there so this will be baked with x normal and with cage So 
of the moment of the truth and of course it don't work because we set this to bump not tangent space normal and now it works okay so what you can see here is that x normal as default is baking uh, normal maps along the surface normal like this one from Maya and in order to do it correctly into x normal you've got to create a cage and use cage for baking so like I said uh, at the beginning of this part I use it Maya mostly because I don't have to create any kind of cage I just use geometry normal option and I have to I, I can of course create something like the envelope and and modify it when I need it but in most cases it just works fine when I increase or decrease this, this number here so for this tutorial for baking our normal maps and I'm gonna put them up we will use X normal just of course to show you how it works that's it for this part let's create our local 